Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And today in this lecture, we are going to discuss on the list in React JS. So basically, you can see here uh, in this example, you can see this is a list. This is the horizontal list, and this is the vertical list. So uh, the first list, second list, third list, fourth list, right? So I have so many of list here. So in the same scenario, I'm going to make the list. So localhost 3000. So now you can see here. I don't want this here. Or this here. The blank screen I am I have. So H1. list if I will do this so you can see here I have so many of list here right but this is not a efficient way so now how you can do this so let's say you have the array the list so list arr one two three and four so let's say you have a name A B and C and D correct so I want to uh, use this list so using map function you can do so in this JSX part I'm going to use my list array and I'm going to use map function using map function I can easily make the list of this array so I have the item and I have the index so I'm going to return the UI so I have a text let's say I have a h1 tag in this I am putting my item so now you can see here the same result okay Yeah, you can see here the same result A, B, C, D. Correct. So now if you want to put the custom message before printing the item, you can do like this. This is your item. You can see this is your item A, this is your item B, this is your item C, and this is your item D. Correct? Also, you can create another component, the list component, dot js. So in this, RFC, you can make the functional component. and you can use this so let's say you have the list there let's say a let's say copying this thing here Okay, and I'm going to use this. This sorry, list arr dot map. Item comma index. Return.
attachment tag I have and I'm going to view the item only here now I'm going to import this in my existed component I want to use this I don't want to use this or directly you can see here sorry the list component this component you can see this is imported so I don't have anything here okay let's just check okay so I need to this is give this is like a capital letter you can see here a b c d so this code is look like very concise here also I made the separate component for the list component you can see here right also you can make another component for this UI I'm going to make another component list save compo dot js so in this I'm doing what I'm going to make another component and to that component I'm going to pass the prop here so let's say I have so let's say I'm importing the list sap component from this and I'm going to import this here and I'm going to give the prop this list here okay what I'm doing here I'm going to get the prop here and again again I'm going to do what props dot map item comma index return h1 tag open and close and item now you can see here I have the main component app.js I have the separate component for the list component I'm rendering here and importing here so this is my separate list component so I have this array list array so I'm passing this array as a prop in this list separate component so this is another component where I'm just uh, making the UI take making the JSX part so now I'm going to the browser and you can see here I have something okay let's just check firstly <coughs> <clears throat> so this is the prop right so I'm going to check once firstly alert props okay so I need to wrap with just in stringify okay a b c d so I need to use this as a prop here dot prop dot and you can see here you will get your result a b c d e okay so I'm going to explain you again this is the main component inside this main component I'm making another list component and inside this list component I have this array right and in this array basically in this component I'm making another list separate component where I'm passing this list array as a prop here and in this list separate component I have this is the basic function component and this I'm just making my JSX part where I'm just making the UI making the list using the map function so this is how you can see here uh, this is the very concise code 
so if you will use this approach then i'm very sure like you will be very able to read the code and anyone can read your code very easily so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i hope you will like this video thank you so much